will be presenting in the sports documentary category. Biz oldu mu sana diyor yani telefonda no. <gülüyor> Uh, I don't speak English very well. I'm sorry. I'll uh, translate or translate, please. Yeah, thank you, my partner. Uh, sürpriz olmadı çünkü bence çok başarılı bir işi yapıyoruz. O yüzden burada olmamız sürpriz. Değil. It's not a surprise at all because we're doing a very successful job with a very big successful uh, professionals. So it's very normal for us to be here. Hi here. Bu e, güzel kategoride dizinin aday olması ile ilgili ne hissediyorsun? Çok mutlu ve gururlu hissediyorum ama sen de konuş istersen. She said I feel very proud and um, very successful about it and you should talk also. Really uh, we've been, I, we believe we've been doing a great um, crew job and we, we would like to send regards to our team that are doing an amazing job doing a 140 minutes uh, series every week editing shooting acting and everybody's working so hard we would like to thank our best regards to our crew and people watching us thank you very much thank you thank Muito feliz pelo documentário porque consegue expor para todo mundo o que realmente aconteceu nas questões jurídicas e realizado por estar aqui nesse dia. Semana que vem teremos sete anos de uma tragédia e esperamos que possamos conquistar esse, esse troféu para, para, para o documentário. He is happy because he sees this as an opportunity for the world to, to, to know about the tragedy. Next week is going to be seven years from the crash. So it is, a, it is a great opportunity to be here and to show to the world what happened. Eu penso que eu tenho uma missão a ser cumprida e eu não acredito na sorte, não acredito no acaso. Creio que Deus, nosso Criador, colocou aqui novamente para voltar para a minha casa, para a terra e fazer algo de bom em meio a tantas coisas ruins que aconteceram. Para mim, é, creio que não sou melhor do que todos os outros que se foram, mas creio que tenho uma missão. He doesn't believe in luck, he believes in destiny, and he believes that he, if he survives, it is because God chose him to, uh, to be alive and to spread the message to find justice, and to be here is part of that. expecting it at all. I mean there's so much out there now to watch that to be considered is kind of I, I really really wasn't expecting this and I, and I mean that genuinely. I know so often it seems disingenuous when people say that but I'm telling the truth. It was it's been a wonderful uh, shot. Nominated in the arts programming category from Mexico for Los Tigres del Norte, stories to tell. This is. Um, but yeah, I actually had a lot of physical injuries from this show, which I, I would say were far outweighed the sort of emotional, psychological hell that you usually um, experience after a, playing such an intense character. What kind of physical in injuries? Like broken bones or cuts, no, I bruises, got a bumps? Slip disc. Wow. I got a slip disc. Sorry, it's so boring. <laughs> but it was a big deal in my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's something. Is that from doing your own stunts? It's from doing all my own dancing. Yeah, I did a jump and then I fell and I wrecked my back. Wow, how are you feeling now? 
I feel fine now, thank God. I had the surgery, I'm good. It, the movie began 10 years ago before Me Too or Time's Up ever even existed. And it morphed so much because of the movement and what we were living in. And to make it a story that occurs in the early 2000s, it was our goal to have people sort of forget everything we already know nowadays, but also the importance of what we know now almost, you know, definitely just infused the film with so much more just complexities, there's much more grays, not everything is black and white. Where there's love, there can be abuse, and just all the societies of um, the system and the system of like the power asymmetry and how abuse happens because of that, not just one person, it's, it's, it's a whole system. Um, but it was, a, it was definitely something that one of the biggest priorities for us was having the movement evolve so much and having the film uh, feel like it could be, it could stand the test of time. La historia está basada en hechos reales, lamentables hechos reales. Trata sobre los peores dos atentados terroristas que sufrió Latinoamérica, el de la AMIA y de la Embajada de Israel. Y sobre eso se escribió una historia y esta serie justamente cuenta el relato de lo que sucedió que al día de hoy sigue impune y creo que es importante que tenga visibilidad para tener memoria y buscar los culpables. Nominated for Best Performance by an Actress from the United Kingdom for her work in...